Hello guys, so a long time ago, uh, in 2019, so a few months ago, I made a video about uh, these boots uh, and I promised you guys a, a video that would explain and, and kind of come back to these boots when I use them and uh, so I did uh, during this, uh, this season. Uh, I did a lot of ice climbing, that's what I do mostly uh, in Ontario, so in Canada. And uh, yeah, I just want to go over, you know, the pros and cons of these boots where I think they could improve. So let's start. I, I mostly want to point out like all the points that you need to be careful uh, about and you need to, to keep in mind. They are completely waterproof and you know, I did a bathtub test in my previous video, but here I did like real life kind of test where when ice climbing, when the weather was a bit nice and it was starting to, to you know, to drip some water in some places and never my feet got wet. Uh, even if I uh, was walking sometime in a, in a puddle of water, uh, again, completely dry. So they withstand water amazingly, okay? Like no bad points on that. One point that I want to, to mention to you guys is sometimes uh, in some scenarios, like it will be warm enough that there's some water flowing uh, and maybe some puddles of water, but it will be still cold enough in maybe in your in the shades or it gets colder at some point in the day, it will still be colder that it will freeze up on top of your boot. And you need to keep that in mind because once it's frozen, okay, you have some ice on top of your boot, the zipper kind of becomes uh, not really usable. Yeah, that could be a consideration in some scenarios, okay? It won't happen if it's very cold, it won't happen if it's very hot, but in cases where it's kind of like this in between where you do have some water in places that can freeze later, uh, you could have some freezing happening on, on the zipper, you know, uh, and the, the operation of the zipper could be compromised. You might need to, you know, break out the ice uh, and it might just be just be harder to, to, operate, uh, to operate the zipper. And you should be careful. Like you, if, let's say, it's a bit frozen, like you don't want to yank on it like crazy just because, like, it could break it. Zipper, very nice, but yeah, it, it can freeze, so keep that in mind. Then when it comes to the lacing system, uh, it's pretty good, but there's some improvements that I personally would like to see. First of all, I kind of feel like the lacing could be a tiny bit higher. That would have been nice. But also, and the, the most important piece here, I think, is if they could add some sort of, of uh, you know, kind of like how the La Sportiva does on some of their shoes, where they have some, some clips that you can clip in and it will hold your laces in place. Because I mentioned uh, last time that I did get them one, uh, I guess like half a size uh, bigger uh, in length and overall just bigger in order to fit in, in the width. It does mean that I do need to cinch them uh, a bit harder than some regular uh, shoes and boots that I have out there. Uh, I really need to yeah, cinch them to the limit almost. And to do that, it requires, you know, like a, a lot of force and you need to keep the tension on them. And the problem is that it does get unlaced. Like as you are, you know, pulling it together, as soon as you remove some tension, it will just unlace itself, you know, just a tiny bit, but this small change in, in tension will, could be like, go from like the perfect fit to, you know, a bit loose, that's not perfect. So I find it pretty hard to lace those shoes if I have, any any sort of gloves, you know, especially thick gloves, uh, I would have a hard time. So usually I have to remove my gloves, cinch those down, and in some scenarios, you know, when it's minus 20 degrees with some wind, you don't really want to be, uh, you know, <laughs> glove-free uh, and holding those tiny ropes that are cutting, cutting your fingers uh, and pulling on them. Like, it's not the most enjoyable activity. So if they could make it so that, you know, you could pull on it with some gloves and then you lock, uh, lock it with some locking device, uh, lock the lace in place, that would be amazing. That would be a game changer for me at least. But overall, fit wise, I mean, I make it work. Like there is, you know, after a set of adjustments, I do manage to make it work very nicely. So what I'm talking about is more like nitpicking being like, if I wanted to have the, you know, the best perfect boot for me out there, that's what I would want. Uh, I would want to be able to have the laces maybe go slightly higher and have some kind of locking device so I could really cinch, cinch them like crazy, lock that device in place so the laces don't go anywhere and then finish up, uh, finish up my lacing. 
so I don't need to you know constantly keep on the tension as I'm closing the loops uh, which yeah requires a bit more of uh, hand skills uh, which is not you know the best when you have big gloves then uh, another point to bring up is the point that I mentioned that they are pretty flexible and this issue as I mentioned in my previous video I think is more pronounced in my case because I'm heavier than uh, a lot of people I also have like bigger feet that's 11.5 so if you have you know smaller feet and are lighter than me it might not be as big of an issue like I have a friend you know is uh, I believe like 160, 150 pounds and uh, he has size 8 or 8.5 and he doesn't have this problem, okay? I do. Uh, and the way I could feel it is, you know, I almost felt like my, my foot was moving inside the boot but it was actually more so that it was actually, you know, bending as I was climbing. Uh, the, the boot itself was bending slightly. Uh, which was a bit weird, you know, you, you want to have a, a stiff base when you're ice climbing, feel, you know, feel strong on your, on your, on your points, which I wasn't uh, at the beginning when I was using regular crampons. So, what I did to solve that is, again, like I said in my previous video, I got and I bought the, uh, the Grivel Rambo 4 which are very, very stiff, okay? The stiffest crampon out there, it's basically like one massive piece of steel that you can adjust with uh, like some bolts and screws. Uh, but it is, you know, it's heavier, it's, you know, it's massive, solid, will never break. Uh, I can assure you that. Uh, but the benefit is that there is like zero flex, not a bit of flex, zero flex. So any flex from the shoe uh, is just cancelled by this, you know, literally beam of steel that you will have uh, on the boots. And with this combination of these boots, along with the uh, the uh, so the Rambo Four, honestly, I felt so confident. Like on the day where I bought them, okay, I snapped them on my boots. I went up, uh, you know, a pretty easy uh, slope, and I felt so confident. You know, once I hit it into the ice, it stayed there. Like it did not go anywhere. I felt like Superman with my feet. Like it was such an amazing experience, and, and still is every time I use it. So yeah, only good thing to to talk about with the Rambo Four. Uh, again, these are very technical. Uh, it's purely for uh, ice climbing. You know, you're not going to use them if you just do some mountaineering, uh, walking around for a few kilometers. Uh, those are not really meant for that uh, at all. Uh, the walking experience won't be as nice. But they are just amazing if you do uh, steep ice or any kind of ice climbing for that matter. Uh, I just love them. Like, I love them so much uh, that I, I had to buy them this year as well. When it comes to the warmth of these boots, uh, I would say I use them in temperatures going from like 0 to minus 25 when I was ice climbing. And when it was uh, 0 degrees, let's say, my feet were definitely not cold. Uh, in that scenario. Uh, so even in, you know, zero minus five, they, they'll perform just nice, even probably like five degrees. I mean, you probably don't want to push them too much higher, otherwise your feet will probably start to be, you know, sweaty, uh, excessively sweaty. Uh, but, you know, what where they shine is, I would say, between minus five and minus uh, 25, let's say. Maybe even minus 30, they, they could maybe work. Uh, so yeah, let's talk about that. So I did have some cold feet in some scenarios, okay? It's usually when you're not moving. You know, if you're static, you don't move. Uh, and it is even minus 15. Uh, I had experiences where, you know, my feet could still feel a bit cold. If you are completely static, okay, and you spend hours just sitting there, not even walking, uh, your feet will potentially get cold. Again, that will depend from one person to the next, but uh, among my group of friends, uh, when one time we, we did a, a nice festival here in Ontario, and it, it was pretty cold. Like it was below minus 20, and there was some good amount of wind on that day. Uh, it was sunny, but it was cold. Uh, well, you know, we were not warm. Like it wasn't like, yeah, I'm just hanging out. You know, it's completely warm. Wow, it, it was a bit cold. Like you could feel a bit of, of cold spots. Uh, especially on your toes. 
uh, but then as soon as you start walking around or start climbing, then you're fine, okay? Uh, it's just, if you don't do anything and just sit around, uh, they will, you know, they, they in minus 20, 25 degrees, uh, you might get a, a bit cold. But all you will have to do is start walking and climbing and you, you'll be fine. So yeah, warmth-wise, I would say, you know, they, they are pretty good. Like, uh, these boots, with their low profile, because they're very low profile, the fact that you can go and, and climb in minus 25 uh, and, and still be fine, uh, I feel that that's pretty sweet. Also, uh, one point that I want to mention about the liner. The reason why uh, a lot of us in my group of friends bought those is uh, because they have an internal liner. And, and that is pretty nice, just because if we do, which we often do, uh, if we do do uh, several days uh, of climbing and we might be camping uh, in, the, in the neighborhood, uh, you know, in the forest and, and such, we'll have our sleeping bags and we can just put those into our sleeping bag, they'll dry overnight and in the morning, uh, you know, this will be cold, okay, will I spend the night uh, in minus 20 degrees, it will be cold, but this at least will be warm, so you can put those nice warm, uh, you know, inner boots on your feet, slide those inner boots inside the boot, and at least you, you don't start the day with that like, cold feet. Uh, so that was quite nice, uh, and one of the reasons why we, we went with those. Yeah, overall, uh, what I would say uh, is this pretty much the same as my previous video. You know, as long as you do uh, 4,000 meter peaks, uh, all that you climb and do ice climbing, in places like well uh, Ontario in Canada that do get cold okay up to you know minus 25 uh, and, and potentially below like maybe minus 30 would be uh, still okay if you are moving around uh, up to yeah about zero degrees let's say so you have a pretty good range and and this boot would do the job like very nicely uh, again some some stuff to look out for is it's a bit thinner uh, you know, narrower than some other boot in the market. So if you have wider feet, keep this in mind when you when you order the shoes. Uh, maybe get the the same size as usual, and maybe you know half a size or one size up, or maybe all three, and test those. But yeah, otherwise, overall, a lot of good things to 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 talk about on, on those on those boots. Like I really love them, and I'm really excited to to start uh, the 2021 season. Uh, after all uh, all this crazy summer uh, comes to an end. So that's all I have for today, guys, regarding the Acrox AR. So I hope it was useful and a good addition to my previous video. You know, uh, today we gave more of a, of a feedback based on my experience in the field. So in-field, uh, you know, in-field experience uh, after using them for one season. So if you enjoyed it, uh, please leave a like uh, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.